welcome back to the end of January. Oh my god, it's my birthday this week. Very excited about that. So it's Monday morning, I've just boot camped and um, I feel like I really want to just get a little bit organised this morning and um, get my ass into gear, ready for the week ahead. I'm not, I really need to, my head is all spaghetti about the week ahead because there's a few things happening. There are birthday plans with my friends and my family and on Saturday night I am doing an exciting job with Wagamamas in Norwich. So I'm trying to figure things out. I also need to figure out what work I'm going to be doing this week, what needs to be done. So I need to get my life organised but I want to continue, I feel really pumped and energised because of boot camp so I want to continue that so I'm just gonna sweep the house in terms of go around tidy it up, put on the laundry, uh, make sure the house is all tidy, figure out what food I've got, what I need, if I need to get anything else for the week I'll go get it, then I'll go walk the dogs and then I'll have a shower and sit down at the desk, get everything organised. So I need to write a to-do list and I also need to have some breakfast but I'm feeling energised. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared because I'm, I'm anticipating how it's gonna make me feel. This is Atomoxetine. It's only 10 milligrams, which I've told us obviously they start you on 10. It's ADHD medication um, and I'm supposed to take it every morning with my breakfast, so I'm gonna have it and um, along with my other vitamins. But yeah, I, if, we'll just see how we get on. I'm a, oh yeah, I'm nervous because it's gonna change the way I feel, I suppose. It might do, it might not. I don't know. Oh. Right, so I'm gonna plan my week. Um, you may notice that my wall is bare. Well, I took everything down. I'm gonna repaint it in here because I had a leak. The walls are actually minging. I've got my, I've got my content planner here. It's, a di it's like a diary spreadsheet that I made. Uh, I just need to ask my management what we're doing this week. I've just got ready, made some lunch. Well, this is leftover tea from last night. So I've got some fish some rice, and then just microwave some veg so it's warm. You can eat this, and then I've got some editing to do. Two magpies on that horse. They're just chilling on it. Happy birthday to me! It's my birthday today! 32! Gonna make some coffee. I, don't, I still don't know what I want to do with my day. Like, I just knew I wanted a day to do whatever I wanted, and I don't even know what that is. The only thing that I've got booked in is a nail appointment at 9.15, and then I have dinner booked at 8 o'clock. I mean, I'm really, I'd quite like to go for a walk at the beach with the dogs, but then it would be quite nice to go into town and maybe have some lunch and a pint, you know? I got some cards and stuff come through this week, so I decided to leave them until my birthday, so I could open them on my birthday, and it'll be great. So, I just opened up a, a, a couple of cards. One from my friend Lauren, who came to stay with me last week. That's her illustration. My lovely friend Helen, happy birthday, babes. Hope you have a super day. Lots of love, Lauren. And then, one from my dad and my stepmom. Then I got this parcel. And I know that it's from someone. It's from JJ and Lisa because she texts me on the day that it arrived saying, there's something in your porch for you. It's a birthday present. So I was like, oh. Oh my God, I know what they've done. <laughs> I've got to send them a video. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> That's all I ever wanted was pickle. You saw my story. So there's this there's this Instagram account called Recess Therapy 
which I love because it warms my heart and it makes, I just love it. It's just like this guy, this New York guy, asking kids questions and they talk about everything. And it's so innocent and just adorable. And the, edit, the way they edit it is just funny. And there's this little girl on there. She must have been about three or four. She just loves pickles. I just really identified with her because I love pickles. Oh, we've got a sour sis. <laughs> oh my god. Garlic Joe. Big Papa. Oh, I like the sound of Big Papa. Oh, look, Hershey's. I have a Hershey's for breakfast. I'm gonna eat what I want today. This is mad. Americans, no offense. But you just love packaging, don't you? Right, I got this. This, I mean, Galentine's Day. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, Gordon's pink gin. <gasps> oh, 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 okay, look. I've got to decorate them. There's gin in my. Oh, I make like a, a gift donor. Okay, so I can like gift a donor and there's icing and stuff. I bought myself some presents last night from Selfridges. Oh, casual. No, I um, I repurchased a perfume of mine, two perfumes of mine that's run out. That was my birthday treat to myself. I've just come out of my nail appointment with Lauren. So recently I've been using gel, I've been using gel kit at home, which is great. But um, she messaged me yesterday to be like, I've got a space in the morning and I heard it's your, get, it's your birthday, do you want to come in? So I thought, fuck it, I will get Lauren to do my nails because as much as I love doing them at home, I will never be as good as Lauren. <laughs> so, <laughs> I get that. I'm now gonna go into the city. I'm gonna park my car up and get it valeted. And then I'm gonna just potter, potter around. Just dropped the car off at the valet because now it's my, my car's turn to be pampered. I always think that, like, I always feel like getting your car valeted is like a pampering service because, like, you don't have to do it and they do such a good job. I got my nails done, now my car's in for a treatment. <laughs> oh, I do need to buy new windscreen wipers. I've got my favorite chocolate almond croissant. And okay, update. I bought myself a hat. This is a Ghani hat. I've seen them on other people and I think that hat looks so good and comfy and I really like it. And I really, really like Ghani as a Ghani, Ghani as a brand. And I bought myself some plants, some flowers. Oh my god, my car looks brand new. My car was disgusting inside and out. Like, beach trips have been done in here. Sand everywhere, stones everywhere. It was gross. Okay. Right, onward, where to go to next? Next stop, Halfords to buy windscreen wipers. Okay, good news. I managed to get some air fresheners for the car. Got a Yankee candle, or we've got this cool one. Oh, good. Bad news is, um, they couldn't replace my windscreen wipers because I drive the most fucking stupid, ridiculous, expensive car it seems ever, and I need to go to Volvo to get my windscreen wipers specifically for this car because they're chonky boys. And also, my car key's battery is on its last limbs, and I went to go get that changed, but they couldn't open my key. So I'm gonna have probably also go to Volvo for that as well. God damn! Mm, smells like a sexy man. Sexy man. I clean my bars out. There are so many flies in my house. I don't know where they've come from. I've even called my mum to be like, mum, there's loads of flies in the house. And she's like, oh, maybe there's a dead body in your walls or something. I'm like, shut up, that's disgusting. I had the rat issue recently like, in, in over, um, like last, the end of last year. And I got my neighbor who does pest control to come and sort the rats out. Fuck off, fly! There's like, and I, sorry, for the last like hour I've been home, I've just been like this with my Dyson. Getting them all with my Dyson, because they're well slow. Getting them, this is not how I really want to spend my birthday, is 
I, like it's a, it's a concerning amount of flies, right? And it's not like my house is dirty, I clean it frequently, it's tidy most of the time. But yeah, and I've just been going around looking to see if there's anything anywhere, and there's not. Wow, that's really tall. So I text my neighbour, like, who's the pest control guy, going, there's so many flies in my house, what do I do? And he's like, they're coming out of hibernation because it's getting warmer. And I'm like, yeah, but where are they hibernating? I'm grossed out. I feel like I need to do a deep clean of the house, even though I know it's got nothing. I mean, there, you know when you've got like your house, right? There's like skirting boards and windows, like the bits that you just never really, you never really clean that often. I just do my immediate surfaces. Protea. Sounds like hibernating ones. It's likely they find a crack to settle in. Once it gets warmer, they pop out. My bees are active on these slightly warmer days. Before you hoover, grab a picture. Okay. But, but, they're, 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 but they're just, they are sporad, sporadically everywhere. Mostly in the kitchen. Kitchen is like the place you don't want them to be. Like they're all hanging out the windows. I feel like I just need to clean these windows. Clean the windows, I need to get behind all, the, I need to take the fridge out and go behind the fridge. Look at this! Ooh, look at this! Crazy! Crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy! I love that. Oh, I mean, no, that's not okay. They do need trimming. Okay, much better, lovely. Another thing it's reminded me of doing, so with the house feeling disgusting, like there's flies everywhere. Um, so, I t so I need to repaint in here, because you can see I had a leak. You can see where all the pictures have been. Like, it looks so gross, just because of the fire and the soot. So I've taken all the pictures down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna redo this wall, all the pictures, so I'm gonna take all the nails out, all the wall thingies out, cover them up, repaint the whole room, and then redo like a picture wall here. Yeah, I really wish that I could get those pipes boxed in. I'm gonna make a box fizz. <laughs> Okay, um, next up on the agenda is Byron Burger. So I have a, now we're having a meal, I'm having a meal with all of my friends. Friend, and my family. My family. Oh my God, I'm gonna enjoy every second of this. Is that, is that nice? Um, yes. I just, I saw cherries and I wanted cherries. And really, I should have just asked for a glass of cherries. <laughs> the, the original plan was to go for food and then go for drinks. I want a truck. But we ain't going for drinks because everyone's so tired. They're all getting old. We're getting a lift home from Andrew's house. I want a mini truck. I've tired. I love my mini truck. I want like, my mini to just be a bit bigger. And everyone was like, headlights don't shine oh. in my eyeballs. Like true rock stars that we are. In pyjamas. But we do drink. We have got a drink, haven't we, Kaylee? Kaylee's sleeping over. Chin chin. <laughs> We're watching the Pamela Anderson documentary. She looks beautiful with all her freckles out. I don't think I've ever seen her face so normal. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Morning. So it has been my birthday and I got to see my family and my friends last night at Byron Burger, which is all just lovely, it's gorgeous. Um, I entered 
the restaurant and slipped <laughs> because <laughs> so like yesterday I was like a couple of glasses of Prosecco and then watch AbFab then have a nap and then I got ready and had another glass of Prosecco I wasn't drunk or anything but um, I had these boots on which had a heel which were really like that on the back of them and I walked into Byron Burger and I was walking along and I slipped on the back of my heel and it was so slow motion that I just crashed into the floor on my knees and then just kind of went hello <laughs> of a whole restaurant of people made an entrance anyway lovely time but i thought i would show you what we got for my birthday so i've got the pickles of course my garlic my sour my big papa <laughs> big papa hot pickle from jj and lisa which was lovely um and from my fam i got a yankee candle this is lavender beach i haven't had this one yet but i'm a fan of the lavender range so that's pretty good and my mum got me the these ones. This is my ultimate favourite Yankee candle smell is the lemon and lavender. Ooh, it's like the smell of this house. It's like my house's signature smell. I've also got another candle, white tea and bergamot, John Lewis one. That's beautiful. My sister got me that of a boyfriend and I opened it for them to everyone sniff it and they almost stole it back. I was like, you can't do that. <laughs> I also got a unicorn poo bath bomb from Lush and I've already been open them some Percy Pig party times and a Colin Caterpillar face they're one of my favourite things in the world a little Sebastian t-shirt I'm a little Sebastian bye 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 I'm a little Sebastian I also got from my family Ricardo in a trap Elvis vinyl my dad and my stepmom got me a moon pig like hamper I got the best birthday card from Ben. We always greet each other. You know um, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? When Cedric Diggory dies and his dad is goes, My boy! And then Harry's like, he's back! No one believes him. <laughs> I always trust Ben for a great card. It's a gossip mag. If that's my boy, my boy, that's my boy! Oh, it world exclusive, my boy, my boy, my boy! Just his face on it. Inside joke. Um, then I got my Magani hat, but I did do an order of Selfridges. I bought myself a restock of Le Labo Santel 33 because I'd, I was on it. I was on it. So it was on its last legs. It was on its last legs. You get your legs back. I'll open that later. But I also bought a refill of Roses on Ice Killian. This, this is the bottle that I have. This is the perfume. I wasn't gonna buy another bottle of perfume because you don't need to. Looks like so much perfume. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. And then I just got some more tan lux, hydro mousse, and self-tanning oil mist. But they're all my presents, really. I'm going to do a Wagamama's event tonight. They're opening a new Wagamama's at Norwich, so that'll be fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs>